about our drive base, we started out by building a couple stock drive bases, and when the game was released, we realized that rather than a holonomic drive base, which would be unable to get over the crater, we decided to go with what was originally a six-wheeled Omni drive base. However, we then added two more wheels with the idea that they would provide more traction when the robot was going over the crater. Yeah. Yeah. So it may be a weight issue. So this is our arm. Our idea behind this arm was that we would create a multifunctional arm that would do all that we wanted it to. Therefore, we combined multiple different sections. We have our intake slash outtake up here, which we use for getting the balls and the blocks. We have our hook, which we use to latch onto. And then finally, we have our little subsystem down here, which we eventually use for hooking to pull the robot up and hang. The robot would drive up to the latch and then it would pull this over and then the robot using the bottom part which is geared which is never s40 geared eight to one would begin to pull itself up and the hook would slide to place allowing the robot to hang this comes with a few issues most notably due to the amount of stress placed on the robot this tetrix plate which we used to secure the latch or hook has bent over time Alright, so here's our intake. It is run by a Neverest 40 motor attached to a chain. This is attached to a rev bar which has some nice rubber. Uh, it functions as an intake and an outtake, and it can hold two blocks, two balls, or one of each, but it cannot hold more than two. So if it picks up three, it'll kick one of the blocks or balls out, and you can only hold two at a time. So this intake runs as an intake and an outtake, so it can pick up the blocks and balls and then also deposit them into we wanted our robot to both get points for hanging and landing. This meant our robot had to stay hanging even while the power was off. To achieve this, we used two servo-operated latches, one on this side and one on this side, which locked onto the arm and kept it up even when the robot power was off. When we released the latches, the robot would fall down.